everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna share a personal story I went through and that many other people go through as well. It's known as the dark night of the soul. For me, this began in 2008. This is the year that changed everything for me. I was running a successful business, what I thought was a successful marriage and living in my dream home. But then the bank crash hit and suddenly I found myself questioning everything I thought I knew about marriage and success and business. I do remember sitting in the office, crunching out the numbers and realizing that my business was crumbling. I felt like the ground was ripping apart right from under me. Shortly after um, the business failed, my husband then, he decided that he didn't want to be married anymore and he asked me for a divorce. Eventually, I had to give up the house. This awakening was so painful for me. It forced me to question my reality, and that's why they call it the awakening. I started to question what truly matters. I started to ask myself, everything I worked for, was it for naught? It was the beginning of what I thought was a very difficult journey. I literally felt like I was in a tunnel, alone, abandoned, confused, and asking that question, why have I been stripped of everything I thought mattered? As you're going through it, you don't realize later you are actually going through a transformation that will lead to something so much brighter down in the future. I will share those other stages with you shortly. And as you start questioning everything, well, the next stage that comes is known as purification. That's a very interesting stage. I call it the great purge. It's where you start purging things that no longer matter to you anymore. And it's actually earthly pleasures. I think the, one of the biggest ones was when I let the house go. See, the house is something that's earthly and it's tangible. I learned to have to let that go. And the contents of. And the act of purging and releasing, getting rid of all my possessions was a very spiritual cleansing as well. Once the layers started peeling, I started to see there was opportunity to purge even more. One of them was purging the television, the news, and entertainment. That was probably the most magical moment for me. By 2012, I had cut off all outside information. And that really had an impact on my insight in life, which has led me here today, creating this channel and sharing this journey with you. Another purge happened was friends. Friends and family are confused. They don't know what really is going on with you. They see that you may be a little different. I've lost friends down the line and I've lost some family members because I've realized that our relationship no longer served us. It was kind of a messy process, but it's actually is necessary in order to reach the next two levels of this stage. I began to focus on what matters for me and what heals me personally. And sometimes that can affect relationships with other people. So after the purification phase comes the illumination phase. This is an interesting part. The stage is where you gained clarity and insight of what's going on in your world, but also with you spiritually. I had lucid dreams and communication with what I would only consider to be with a divine connection. I began to see lessons hidden inside the struggles that I was going through. I began to rationalize and understand that losing my business, my marriage, and my home is not the end but rather a chance to rebuild myself and give myself a stronger foundation. I remember one day walking through the park with Bobby, my Cocker Spaniel at the time, and I had that moment of clarity that I realized I was at one time taking comfort and identified myself with all my possessions. And now all that stuff was gone I started to learn to embrace my true self and began to love myself for the first time in my life. I also learned how to be grateful for what I had 
but also for what I have now. So basically in the illumination phase, that's where you have a sense of peace of the loss, but also the peace of where you are and a thankfulness for your higher power for you reaching that level. And now the final stage. The final stage is union. This is kind of where everything just comes together. After the chaos is done, you realize you're no longer in that tunnel. You see light now. This is where you reach a deep connection of the world around you. This is also a period, and I noticed this for me, and it's still happening to this day. I am cultivating new relationships. I'm seeking out new friendships, new hobbies, a new purpose in life, because you've put your trust in God. And based on what you went through, you can survive because you've been through it and you're not afraid anymore. I have been blessed to creating content and sharing my story. It is something that I feel is a calling for me. The union stage is a really beautiful stage because there is no finality to it. It is a constantly running in your life. You're just at a place where you trust a higher power to lead you to a fulfilling life. And that's it, everybody. That's my story of the dark night of the soul. It's not finished yet. I'm still going through it and just at a phase right now where I am embracing the gifts that were given to me and sharing it with you.